as recognized by the whole world, we have made all these achievements despite the UN sanctions that have lasted for decades, the agency quoted Kim as saying. Kim said the country's final goal is to establish the equilibrium of real force with the US and make the US rulers dare not talk about military option for the DPRK, referring to North Korea's official name, the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. He indicated that more missile tests would be forthcoming, saying that all future drills should be meaningful and practical ones for increasing the combat power of the nuclear force to establish an order in the deployment of nuclear warheads for actual war. The Security Council stressed in a statement after a closed-door emergency meeting that all countries must fully, comprehensively and immediately implement all UN sanctions. Best Show and the British, French and Swedish ambassadors demanded that all sanctions be implemented. Calling the latest launch a terrible, egregious, illegal, provocative reckless act, Britain's UN ambassador Matthew Recruft said North Korea's largest trading partners and closest links a clear reference to China must demonstrate that they are doing everything in their power to implement the sanctions of the Security Council and to encourage the North Korean regime to change course. France's foreign ministry said in a statement that the country is ready to work on tougher UN and EU measures to convince Pyongyang that there is no interest in an escalation, and to bring it to the negotiating table. The North flight tested its Hwasong-14 ICBMs twice in July and analysts say the missiles could potentially reach deep into the US mainland when perfected. While some experts believe North Korea would need to conduct more tests to confirm Hwasong-12's accuracy and reliability, Kim Jong-un's latest comments indicate the country would soon move toward mass-producing the missiles for operational deployment, said Kim dong yub an analyst at Seoul's Institute for Far Eastern Studies. He also said that the North is likely planning similar test launches of its Hwasong-14 ICBM. The growing frequency, power and confidence displayed by Pyongyang's nuclear and missile tests seem to confirm what governments and outside experts have long feared, North Korea is closer than ever to its goal of building a military arsenal that can viably target U.S. troops both in Asia and in the U.S. homeland. This, in turn, is meant to allow North Korea greater military freedom in the region by raising doubts in Seoul and Tokyo that Washington would risk the annihilation of a U.S. city to protect its Asian allies. South Korean President Moon Jae-in, a liberal who initially pushed for talks with North Korea, said its tests currently make dialogue impossible. If North Korea provokes us or our allies, we have the strength to smash the attempt at an early stage and inflict a level of damage it would be impossible to recover from, said Moon, who ordered his military to conduct a live-fire ballistic missile drill in response to the North Korean launch. Letterer reported from the United Nations.